Jesus, I need to sleep. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Today is Sunday, July 11th. It's 9.14 in the morning. And I am here in the office. I just cut my fucking finger. I don't know if you can see it or not. Sliced it right there. Can't really see it very well. Because it's at a weird angle. But it's pretty deep. Actually, it looks like the skin is more what got sliced. Huh. Oh, it is a flap. I, didn't even, I thought it was actually deeper, but it's not. It's just a skin flap. Cool. That should heal fine then. I won't leave a scar. It's not a big deal. I used to cut myself all the time on purpose. This was an accident and it wasn't that deep. So it's not that bad. Yes, I used to be a cutter. I was a an emo kid, you could say. Not really in how I behaved, because I, I was more angry, like, on the outside. Like, emos aren't... Well, I mean, they're angry, you know, obviously on the inside, but they don't really have a reputation for being aggressive and violent necessarily that's more like metal heads and stuff which i am also a part of so i don't really like genres like putting genres on people or things because i think they're stupid like you could i guess identify more with one genre than another but in reality like we're all different you know, we all like different things. Some people that have a have a joint liking in a certain genre might not enjoy a separate genre, you know? Like, I love rock music, obviously. Um, I also enjoy classical music, and I also enjoy uh, hearing jazz every so often. There's some Spanish songs that I like. Um... I I despise country though. Country and reggaeton are two of the genres that I I can't stand. I mean, like I I could stand them. Like I'll li I'll hear them, you know, or whatever when they're around. But um, they don't bring joy to my soul like at all. They don't. They don't get me feeling groovy or moving or nothing. I mean, unless I'm really really drunk. Or something. Uh, then um, then I can maybe get get into it a little bit. No, what are you showing me here? It's gonna stop my video. I click that. I'm not clicking that. Um. But yeah. Generally, I don't like those two genres. So if I like Marco likes rock music as well, not as much as I do, but he likes it. And there's some songs that we enjoy like together. But when it comes to country, you know, which he likes, I I don't like it, you know. So he doesn't really play it. He'll play it whenever he's mad at me and he wants to try and annoy me or something, then he'll fucking put it on. But I already know how to like block it out, so I already don't give a damn. And, um, and yeah, but the point is we're all unique and we all have our own, our own blueprint for the genre that makes us, that makes 
our individual self. So I don't really like to call myself emo or metalhead or whatever, but I just do it more as a as a show of description to give an idea for what, you know, what image I'm trying to I'm trying to explain pretty much. Um because, I mean, that's all we can do when we're telling stories, right? Just use our words. And the only words that we've heard in our life. And that's what make up new words, which I've done before. But, yeah. Anyways. Um, yeah. Ants. These fire ants that bit me yesterday. Um, yeah, I lost my train of thought. I started remembering how I was being bitten by ants yesterday when we were moving the dirt or clearing out the dirt and it just brought me back to that. I got so angry. Oh yeah, that's what I was talking about. I was more angry than most emos. Um, yeah, I, I, I had a history of, you know, of aggression at my school. I wasn't the person to be picked on. I had a, a chick that one time did try to pick on me, which ended up hilarious because she didn't do it anymore after that incident. Uh, so what happened was, I'll just tell that story just because it makes me laugh. Um, I would walk around in my, you know, my black clothes and my my Hot Topic t-shirts with my, my band tees or whatever my sarcastic sayings on my black shirts and my fucking pants with the with the strings and belts and everything all over the place baggy as shit my converse and i guess because i i looked like that she thought that i was a person that she could talk shit to and that wouldn't do anything or say anything that i would be scared and especially because she had her, like, two other little friends there. And I would be by myself basically all the time. And um, so we'd walk, you know, along the hallways. And when we'd be passing, or I'd be passing her and her friends, uh, she'd start, like, looking at me and giving me faces. Like, like just dogging me and shit. And I'd look at her like, the fuck? Like, and I, I'd look first, the first few times that it happened. I gave her the benefit of the doubt that she, uh, I'm getting a phone call. I'll start this story later.